Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand how you can set and get the variables within Postman in different scope using the script, right? So we have briefly understood about that already, but I'll just expand on that. So let me expand the sidebar. And in here, we have already understood that in each of these requests, okay, let me close everything. Okay, so close the tab. Let me open get project. And as part of the get project, if we went back to the request and in the tests, we have basically used this script, right? So we basically did pm.collectionVariable.set and then we have to provide the ID and whatever we want to set that particular variable. Now, uh, the value that we are setting it up is coming from the response, right? So we are basically uh, setting that up in a variable at a collection scope. Now, how we can set it up at the global scope, collection scope, okay, or environment scope, all of that we are going to cover. And then also we are going to basically understand how we can fetch those variables through a script, okay? So let me quickly just pick one of the, say for example, I'll just start writing in the pre-request, okay? So in order to set a global variable within Postman in from the script, you simply have to access the uh, object PM, okay? And then for global variable, to set a global variable, you just say PM.globals, okay? And then dot set, okay? So what this does is it will set a variable whatever you will define okay so similar to what collection variable is so basically the string okay the name of the variable and i'll say this is global where okay just just a dummy name there comma separated the value that you want to set at the global level okay so now say for example i want to set a particular value now this value you can basically in the previous videos in the test we have fetched it from the response and the, usually that's how we'll be doing it or we will be setting up something within the script or pre-script and using it further right but we need to understand how we are going to do that global variable thing so say for example i want to just provide the name test global okay so this value okay the value that we are providing here test global will be set as a variable okay at a global scope okay this will be the value and this will be the key all right now similarly if we have to set something at the collection level so pm dot collection variables right so this we have already seen okay so let me move to the second line so pm dot collection variables okay and then dot set and then again name of the variable so i'll say collection where okay and then same approach the value okay so i'll say collection where say one two three four okay so this value whatever we are providing will be set as a variable okay this will be the value of the variable that will be set as a collection variable the key will be collection where at the collection level okay now if you have to set something at the environment so it is basically pm dot environment okay so you have to access the environment property and then say dot set so it doesn't matter whether it's global, whether it's collection or whether it's environment, the approach is all similar to set these variables. Okay. So we'll say env where as the name and then let's say, for example, I want to set up a value something. Okay. So this is how we are going to set at a different level, global collection and environment. All right. Now, if say, for example, now, because this is pre-request, okay. So whenever we are setting something or whenever we are writing a script at a pre-request level, that means the code that you are writing here in the pre-request will be executed first, then the request will be sent, okay? And then whatever we write in the tests is evaluated after the response, right? So you, if you see the console, okay? So let me save this, clear everything, we'll see. At the moment, because we are just setting up, there won't be anything, right? There won't be any pre here, okay? But when we'll basically try to get these variables then we'll i'll show you okay so let me close this as of now so these variables have been in the pre-request we have set these variables so we should be able to see global where collection where or the environment where okay at each of the level now here this environment variable because we haven't set or we haven't selected any environment previously when we executed this so this wouldn't have been set we have to make sure that the environment is basically selected if you have to set this particular variable at any level okay so let's quickly see what all has been set okay so let me save this go to the 
collections all right and now because this value or this script we have written at this get project so this if we go to this particular collection and go to the variables you will see collection where has been set with that particular value okay now if you go to the environment let's see the global all right so the global should be there you will see global where is set with a test global as a value okay now if you go to the environment okay so environment wouldn't have been selected or set at any level because when we ran that script we didn't have any selection of the environment there okay so in order to set the environment variable you have to make sure that say for example when we are having or triggering this get project okay so we have to say for example we just select a particular environment okay or you know sit environment or anything okay so environment needs to be selected for example we create an environment for jira api testing right and we select that particular environment and then send okay this request and go to the environment now in the new environment we should be having that env where or environment variable being created and the value being set for that okay so this is how we are going to set the variable at different levels in postman and then how we are going to get these values out of that okay so let me close everything and go to the collection again go to that request now in order to fetch these values okay that's another very important thing how we are going to get it so we'll simply say pm dot say for example we want to get the global variable so we'll say pm dot global dot get okay so for setting it's like setter and getter so basically for setting it's set for getting it's get method okay and then if you see within the get you just have to provide the value or the string of the variable the key of the variable that you want to fetch for example i simply want to get what is the value that is stored in this global var okay so just copy and paste and we'll simply go ahead and paste it or simply print it okay so we'll say console dot log right and that's it so this will log at the console level what the value is in the global variable similarly we can do for collection variable and for environment variable as well right so this is the global so we simply replace this globals with the collection variable and get the variable key for the collection okay and then for the environment as well so we'll simply change this globals to the environment all right so we'll say copy it pm dot environment dot get and then simply copy the key for the environment variable that we have set okay so now if i save this okay let me open the console now because this is pre-request okay you will see the clear difference between pre-request and test right so you'll see if all these variables will be fetched first test global the values are fetched first then the request has been sent and then the values or the test script that we have written is executed later okay after the request or after the rest okay so this is what pre-request so if you want to execute certain script before sending the request you write that code into the pre-request if it is a test that you want to analyze on the response then you write it within the test right but the purpose of this video is more to understand how you are going to set and get the variables at a different level within postman using the script okay so pm.global.set pm.global.get okay now there is another very important thing that you need to understand so for example if i have used this particular global variable and don't need it anymore right so how can i remove it okay or delete it so there is a method pm dot globals dot okay and then you have unset okay so this unset unset method okay will unset the variable that you have set up okay so if you say unset right and then you simply provide the key that you want to unset so say for example i don't need this variable anymore i can unset that okay and then that will be removed from the global scope okay so if i run this you'll see let me save it and run this so go to the environment level go to globals and now at the global level you'll see that there is no global environment available anymore okay if i go back to that particular request okay and then i comment this statement save it and send it go back to environment go back to global so you'll see global where is still there okay so if you want to remove the particular variable and the value when the work has been done okay unset is the method that you have to use okay unset there is another method okay which could be which is very 
important to understand right so you have unset and this is applicable for all right so pm.global.unset pm.collection uh, collection variables dot unset pm.environment.unset it is basically applicable across okay then there is pm dot say for example collection variables dot clear as well okay so this clear be aware of this okay when we say clear it will remove all the variables from the current scope okay so basically when we say pm dot collection variables dot clear and you will see that it doesn't accept any arguments okay so it's just a destructive action that will clear everything for example if i say collection variables dot clear then any variables that are stored here okay at the collection level so you'll see there are so many variables jira token product id issue id account id collection where right so all of this will get cleared from this collection right so never um only use clear i mean if you know why you are using it right you want to clear all the variables in that particular scope if you say uh, pm dot global dot clear okay then every variable that is defined at a global scope will get clear okay so always if you want to remove a particular variable that you have set up use unset and never use clear okay but to understand the difference that's why i have covered that in case you need it you have the method clear as well to clear all the variables in the scope okay so that's basically how you are going to set and get the variable from the script within postman i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching